G'day YouTube. I picked up this during the week. Waco Car Kettle. It was uh, on Facebook over where my dad lives and they uh, wanted five bucks for it. So, uh, quick phone call to dad. He ran and, ran and grabbed it. And uh, it's a brand new 12 volt Waco Car Kettle. Now, in the box you get a mounting bracket. Really cool for motorhomes and utes and things like this. And that'll actually go in the toolbox in my ute for winter. So that I can uh, have a nice hot cup of coffee whenever you feel like it. Just, just some mounting screws. Right, we don't need the box. So it's a pretty swish looking black and silver in design. It's a 700ml kettle. It also has a flat bottom, and I can't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to cook in it, like noodles or something similar to that. Noodles, rice, pasta, heat up a can of baked beans, something like that. So, like, if you're a tradie who's out on site all the time or always in your service vehicle, this uh, this may be the ticket for you. Right, so over here I've got a. Uh, Heavy duty 12 volt twin port um, power outlet from Super Cheap Auto. Over here I've got um, 5 amp hour 12 volt cells all banged together. Just connected to the solar, which is sitting there happy at 13.2 at the moment. So hopefully that will have enough grunt to, to run this. It's meant to pull up to 20 amps, so it's going to put a, put a bit of a test on it. So it's got a nice latching lid here so we'll put some let's fill it right up to capacity for this test all right so that's full that's 700 mils so uh, you get a reasonable length cord it's really heavy duty flex it's quite quite beefy Nice looking plug, really firm connections. It's uh, it's meant to have auto auto on and off and uh, dry boil protection and all that kind of thing. So we'll plug it in. That shows us some power. Oh, yeah, there we go, it's on. Let's start the stopwatch. So we've got an idea of how long it takes before it actually shuts off from boil. I've got the... I'm prepared, but I wasn't prepared for it to just come on like that. Here, yeah. current meter. Fourteen point six five amps. Just check that. Yep, went back to zero. Yeah, fourteen amps at twelve point six volts. We can see bubbles in there already. Well, I'll just pause this and we'll be back in a minute. Alright, we're uh, 21 minutes in and we're not boiled yet. Still pulling power, it's definitely. Yeah, I wouldn't dip my fingers in it. Um, this heavy duty plug kit from uh, Super Cheap Auto is holding up. Um, it's meant to only be able to do 20 amps for the whole thing. But it's fairly comfortably doing 20 amps in that one side. Obviously you wouldn't be able to do it with both of them. But uh, it's running well. I'm pretty impressed with my little battery pack. Still at 12.6 volts. They're just out of a 48 volt UPS. There's 8, um, 5 amp hours in there, so 40 amp hours. Which we'll actually test with the uh, big discharge. Charge, discharge, lipo charger thing. The uh, antimatter that uh, banggood.com sent me. And uh, we'll see how close to 40 amp hours that actually is. But, um, oh yeah, no, we've got some steam. And some big bubbles. I get a bit 
when we get a bit closer to it, actually like a rolling boil, I'll come back. No, so I got distracted. It boiled. And uh, it was about 20, 22 minutes. So it's not fast. But once it gets up there, it stays nice and hot. It's actually quite thick plastic. We'll just push the button down again. You see it bubbling. Furiously. Plenty of steam coming out of there. And... Uh, Still got 12.4 volts. That little battery pack's holding up pretty well. But it'll boil away there for a sec with the lid shut and then it just goes click and that's it. It's uh, it's shut off. So it is a fully automatic kettle like you want at home. But uh, you flick and walk away. Um, between 15 and 18 amps current draw. It's probably going to boil quicker when you've got 14 volts feeding it. Probably still pulling a similar amperage, but yeah, you know, 14 volts with your vehicle's alternator or whatever going while you're driving. It'll, uh, it'll keep it nice and warm. Um, the base this is a pretty cool thing. I was just playing with that before. You okay, not the easiest thing for me to line up one handed. <laughs> ah, full ninety degrees, there you go. So go ninety degrees. And when you turn it back, this little clip clicks in, and you're there. So the light lights up when it's heating. A nice little steam machine. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, that'll fit a can of beans or whatever. Open the can of beans before you put it in there, otherwise you'll make an explosion. But. Uh, it's going to come in handy. Next video I'll cook something in it. Two minute noodles or something. See if we can't put two two minute noodle things in there and cook them. Anyhow, that's it for this video guys. This is the Waco um, MCK 750. 750ml um, car kettle. I'm going to say mobile car kettle, MCK. Anyhow, comes with a cool mountain bracket. To go a lot of socket. Yeah, thanks guys for watching. That's all there is to it. We a uh, subscribe button up here and a uh, link to some other videos over this side probably. And uh, if you want to follow what I do and what I play around with, have a look at me on Instagram. It's just one up the sleeve customs, and uh, you'll see some of the cool stuff I play with there before it makes it into a video. Thanks guys. Catch you in the next one.